everyone, welcome back to our kitchen and the 12 days of Christmas treats. Today we're, to, so today we're making mini pumpkin cheesecakes with cranberry topping. So today we're making the mini, well we're making the pumpkin cheesecake bites. And we're going to top them off with a cranberry uh, topping and some whipped cream. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to fill these uh, silicone baking, baking um, cups with our crust. You can buy ground up graham crackers in the baking aisle of the store, but we just used the food processor. We threw uh, eight whole um, graham crackers in there with a fourth cup of sugar and five tablespoons of melted butter, and this is what we ended up with. We're going to take a teaspoon and put it in, and then we're going to press it down. So a teaspoon scoop, put it in, press it down. And we're going to do this for all 24 cups. If you have ever been intimidated by making a cheesecake because maybe you saw that it needs to be cooked in a water bath or um, it needs like all these kinds of things, sour cream, cottage cheese, whatever it is that you saw, this is the most simple and most delicious cheesecake recipe that you will ever find. It is so basic and so simple, you're going to be shocked. Everyone that I know, my entire family, and anybody that has ever eaten my cheesecake always ask me for the recipe. They always think that it's very, very involved. When I tell them how I make it, they're surprised because it's just so easy and it comes out with this really nice creamy texture um, and flavor. So um, what we do is um, we start off with, so we just basically softened up the cream cheese a little bit by leaving it out on the counter and we're going to add two bri uh, bricks of cream cheese to our bowl. Okay, so now we're going to add in the sugar. And we're going to add in the pumpkin. And we are going to blend that together until it's nice and creamy and kind of smooth. And we're gonna add in, uh, well, let's do the dry first a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon, whichever one you want. I like pumpkin pie spice because it just gives it a little bit of extra uh, flavor in instead of cinnamon. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna mix that in. Gently or harshly? Just regular. Okay, we're gonna add in the eggs one at a time. We're gonna add the egg and then we're gonna mix it up and make sure it's nice and smooth and then we're gonna add in the next egg. And it's important to do that because it just makes sure that the eggs are evenly distributed in, um, in the batter. So you can go ahead, Hosanna, and mix that up. We're gonna add in our second egg. So now we are going to divide this batter between the cups. I'm gonna use um, a half tablespoon, but I I do want a full tablespoon in here, so I'm gonna just do two scoops, but it is a, a tablespoon. Just that, for whatever reason, the kids lose my tablespoon measure all the time. So I'm gonna be putting these in the oven for 15 minutes. I'm gonna check them after 15 minutes. Probably gonna be between 15 and 20 minutes to cook these. Okay, so I took these out of the oven after 15 minutes. You can see that they've puffed up just a, a little bit. Some of them cracked and that's totally fine. And that is going to be um, it for those bite-sized cheesecakes. 
I had enough batter to prepare nine uh, cupcake sized cheesecakes and that's what I did. Um, so I'm gonna put these in the oven for about 30 minutes and um, once everything is cooled, I will put the topping on it and the topping I actually just made with uh, cranberries. Uh, I will leave the link to the recipe down in the comments below for both of these things. Um, the recipe that I did use for the cheesecake, um, I did modify, so you will want to look at the video to um, see the modifications. But thank you for watching and we will see you next time.